During the summer season, the Snohomish Health District visits every facility twice to conduct a routine health and safety inspection. Health inspectors look at many different things, but one of the most important is barriers, such as gates and fences. Barriers are a very important component of drowning prevention. Properly constructed and functioning barriers prevent children from entering a pool enclosure unintentionally. When looking at barriers, we make sure that all gates and entrances to the pool self-close and self-latch. We also check to see that nothing is stored outside of the fence that would allow someone to use it as a step or climbing feature into the pool area. We also check the quality of the water. It is important that the water is clear enough to see the drains at the bottom of the pool so that a swimmer in distress can easily be seen. pH and chlorine concentration are important indicators of water quality. Proper chlorine levels can help prevent those enjoying the pool from becoming ill. We test the water to make sure that the pH and chlorine meet the standards set by the state. We also make sure that pool operators are checking and recording water quality parameters on a daily basis. In spas, we also check the temperature to make sure it is not too hot as high temperatures can cause ill health effects. The last major component of a pool inspection is safety equipment. Pools are required to have a stocked first aid kit and functioning emergency foam. Pools that are not lifeguarded are required to have a reaching pool as well as a life ring. So when we go to a spray park, the main thing that we're checking is water quality. Again, we're checking the pH and the chlorine. Um, and then we make sure that there is no big safety concerns, any sharp objects, make sure that all the equipment is in one piece and working the way it's supposed to. And then we check to make sure that the pump room is closed and locked so no kids have access to the chemicals or the equipment.